Hello everybody and welcome back to another ARC video. Today I'm going to share my top 10 dinos you need to get for ARC Star Ascended, so let's get right into it. I understand this video is extremely short, but I didn't want to have a bunch of filler words and BS and keep you guys watching. No, I just want to tell you guys what I think is the best uh, creatures for the island for ARC Star Ascended. So let's get right into it. Number 1. Baryonyx. Baryonyx is an underrated creature capable of dominating on land and especially in water. It cannot be bolted and can run faster than players, giving the ability to annihilate anyone you come across. The best thing about the Baryonyx is its tail spin attack, which stuns most underwater creatures, including survivors. If you tend to make your bases on rafts, be sure to grab one for yourself, as it makes clearing any water dinos extremely easy. Number 2, the Uteranos. The Uteranos is one of the essential dinos to bring into boss fights due to its ability to buff all your dinosaurs' damage and resistance. However, it is included on this list not only for that reason, but also its unique ability to stand in sentry mode and deter any creatures or players from approaching your base. To implement this defense strategy, place the Uteranos in a pen around your base. When somebody attempts to infiltrate your base by flying in or breaking through, they will be scared away. In most cases, the raiders will have to eliminate the UD, which can be quite challenging because they often have thousands of hit points, consuming valuable time for the raiders. Number 3. Ranionatha Ranionatha is one of the best creatures in ARC, as it has multiple uses. The first and most obvious is the ability to pick up even the biggest of creatures, including the Rex. Secondly, the Ranionatha uses resin, which can be used for a variety of abilities. Firstly, it can be used for increased resistance due to them coating themselves with it like armor. They can also fire three different types of projectile shots. The first of the three being resin needles, which are fast but weaker projectile shots. Then resin rockets, which slow down and can home in on your enemy. And finally, resin bombs, which completely cover an area with resin, dealing damage over time. This creature can also taunt, scaring away most dinos. The Rhinonatha is also extremely fast and agile, being able to move 360 degrees while flying, hence its community assigned nickname, the Attack Helicopter. It can also move pretty quickly in water. Number 4. Megatherium Megatherium is one of the best creatures on the island, not just because of its immense damage against bugs, but its ability to gather tons and tons of chitin, which is essential for the island due to its low amounts of beaver dams. They are also able to regenerate health from force feeding as they are omnivores who prefer meat. Number 5. Carcharodontosaurus the Carcharodontosaurus is a menacing creature, dominating even the scariest of dinos. One of its first abilities that stand out is its tail whip, sending people flying. The tail whip can knock back most creatures, even the large ones like the Rex. The Carcharodontosaurus also causes a debuff to enemies when it bites, causing slower health regen time. When the Carcharodontosaurus gets a kill, it gains a bloodlust buff, enhancing its speed, regen, and damage. Number 6. Basilosaurus the Basilosaurus is an extremely powerful underwater creature, capable of single-handedly taking almost anything out in the Arch oceans. It's one of the preferred underwater dinos to do at cave exploration, due to the sun-resistant passive ability, making eels and jellyfish completely useless against them. Number 7. Megalosaurus The Megalosaurus is an extremely underrated creature, as most people ignore this dino because of its weakened state during the day. However, when nighttime sets in, these beasts really shine. They instantly receive a damage and resistance buff during night, completely obliterating everything in its path. Players that stray too far from their base at night will be punished by this absolute machine. No survivor will outrun this monster, as once you get in their sights, the only thing you will see are the insides of its jaws as you are completely helpless against them. Number 8. Pelovia. The Pelovia is an annoying underrated base defense creature. If used properly, a Pelovia can stun a player or dino while they are trying to raid your base, making them completely useless for 10 seconds. The players, now helpless against your dinos and turrets, taming them is extremely easy and 100% worth it as it can turn the tides of a raid in seconds. Number 9. Thylacolio. The Thylacolio is one of the best creatures to take with you on your cave adventures, as it's small enough to fit and strong enough to take down everything in the cave. They're extremely useful in PvP as its bleed effect really tears down any dinos or players, not to mention their ability to climb surfaces. Number 10. Castoroidus. The Castoroidus is one of the best creatures to farm wooden arc. The reason I'm putting them above a mammoth is because of their mobility and size. The Castoroidus can easily be picked up by an Argentavis, making your farming problems gone forever. Yeah guys, that's my top 10 dinos you need to get when Arc Ascendant comes out. I understand this video is shorter than usual, but I didn't want to make it longer for no reason. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subbing as it really helps me out. And comment below any dinos you think would be good on this list. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day.